Um, let me move out to the county governments before I come to you, Your Excellency. Um, Your Excellency, um, Madam Anwe Goro, the county governments are at an average of 45% wage bill to revenue ratio according to the financial year 2022-2023. As you serve your last term as governor, what is your parting shot on matters productivity and the wage bill target of 35% in county governments? Um, thank you very much, Commissioner. I think um, uh, it's very interesting, um, the conversation about the wage bill and what it is that we can do. And I think uh, as a nation, uh, it has come at the right time. Uh, indeed, the county governments uh, at the moment are at about 42, an average of 42 uh, percent. That means that there are those with a lot higher, um, and then there are those who with um, a lot less, uh, closer to 35. But I would like before even uh, we discuss in broad terms and uh, maybe uh, make proposals, bring us uh, into perspective as to why the uh, wage bill of the county government has been growing, and I think this has been discussed in the last two days here. Uh, just from statistics alone, uh, if you look at health facilities, we started with uh, 8,466 health facilities in 2013. We are now at 16,655. Um, doctors were at 874. We are now at 4,398. Um, nurses were at 6,620, we are at 31,923. Extension officers were 1,725, and we are right now at um, 8,078. And now we have uh, started the UHC program. We are going to increase uh, and include um, our CHPs into the wage bill. And um, therefore, uh, with all that and the payments for NSSF and all, this is very critical that we have this conversation of how do we achieve all this because the things that I have mentioned are indeed critical. And not to mention that we also um, inherited uh, mostly uh, on the county's uh, side bloated um, public services from the defunct local authorities and those people being protected under the permanent and pensionable. So even if you were to do your restructuring, uh, you would not be able like, to move them. So you have to increase for critical services that are devolved and at the same time um, uh, be able to maintain the current staff that you have. The other very critical issue is that revenues to counties has not been increasing in the commensurate um, manner. For all the functions that we have, uh, if you look at where our revenues are pegged, they are pegged on audited accounts of maybe three years or so behind uh, as compared to three to two years behind as opposed to the current um, year that has just passed where the percentage of revenue going to counties will be a little higher. If the uh, percentage of the revenue to counties was higher, and if uh, counties put measures in place to increase their revenue allocation, they would be able to lower the average, um, that, uh, the wage bill average per county. But this is uh, one issue that we cannot um, scatter around. I think we need to have a conversation about um, functions and resources following those functions. And then as um, Chair of SRC has said, maybe we need to look also at our structures and see how they are populated and how do we deal with the issue of uh, rationalizing those structures so that you have critical staff that are required for the critical services that counties are supposed to, um, uh, uh, counties are supposed to implement, the functions that counties are supposed to implement. Now on the issue of my parting shot, what is it that I would say? I think this country uh, needs to look um, very deeply, introspectively uh, within. Many times we come uh, to conferences and have conversations about what we need to do, but when we go to implement, we implement for the first six months or so, and then the, um, the resolutions fall by the wayside. Uh, a culture of accountability, as has been said, is, is critical. And those in the public service who have been given the privilege to serve in the public service have to answer that very critical question that has been asked by Moses Courier. 
um, are we supposed to be spending our resources on um, unproductive activities as opposed to resources for development? And what is this amount of money that we should cap and say whether we are a county government or at the national government, what is this figure? And that figure has been said. We have a target right now of 35, but is that the ideal? And um, finally, uh, inculcating a culture of productivity. I will say um, uh, in this panel, Your Excellency, if we checked uh, the productivity of the staff, both at national and county level, and especially the middle to lower cadre, you will find that the productivity is very low because you will find one job that can be done by one person is probably being carried out by three, four people. But this is a very sensitive conversation when you're talking about a country where everybody's aspiring to join this public service. Maybe we need to um, deculturalize our people and change uh, the perspective of our people so that we are not all looking to join the public service and as uh, Chair mentioned, maybe start focusing more on the private sector and informal and informal uh, sectors. And finally, uh, once we set up the structures, once we have them running, maintaining those structures and holding those in leadership accountable, and for us, mentoring, coaching, and passing the skills to younger people so that they understand where we came from when we came uh, to this decision so that we are not rolling back the gains that we have uh, had. Thank you. Very well put, Madam Igoro. Thank you so much for that comment, which flowed very well with discussions we have had, Your Excellency, with the former Head of Public Service, Budara and Oginde, on leadership. Sir. Your Excellency, which brings me to your question.